wealthy have places to go and things to do, many luxury SUVs out there will get the job done. But Mercedes-Benz hopes to lure well-off buyers into this, the new third-generation ML350. It's now three quarters of an inch lower, an inch longer, and half an inch wider. The design, obviously very evolutionary. It's clear Mercedes did not want to mess with what they had going. And that's okay, because the outgoing M-Class was very good looking. Also attractive is this V6. Now, 240 horsepower may not seem much for an SUV, but this is the optional diesel engine. Notice there's no smoke or smell. The Bluetech engine has gobs of low-end torque, 455 pound-feet of it to be exact. Off-line power is deep and effortless. If you haven't test-driven a diesel before, you owe it to yourself. Even starting off on steep hills, the engine hardly breathes, remaining refined and capable. M-Class is no lightweight, it can tow 7,200 pounds. Quiet and comfortable, the ML350 now seems more nimble in the handling department. Don't like parallel parking? ML can do it for you. As you drive along, the system measures the parking spots and tells you when it finds one. Ah, uh, there you go. Then just put it in reverse, push OK, and work the brake and throttle. Steering is automatic. It's actually very easy to use. This is not the only high tech help on board. Blind spot warning has your back. Standard on M Class is an electronic system called Attention Assist. Now, if you're drowsy or just not paying attention and wander outside your lane, it'll vibrate the steering wheel. Do this enough, and it'll tell you to take a break. EPA fuel economy numbers are 20 city, 25 highway. That's three miles per gallon better than the gasoline engine. Formatic all-wheel drive will have no problems getting owners to the ski slopes and through forest service roads. Brakes are very effective. Diesel fuel isn't the only liquid it needs. AdBlue fluid keeps the Bluetech engine's emissions clean enough so it can be sold in all 50 states. As expected, the interior is rich looking with subtle ambient lighting and wood from real trees. The seven speed automatic uses the Mercedes stock that frees up space on the console. It can be manually shifted here. ML350 cruises nicely and with firm supportive heated seats, it makes an excellent road trip vehicle. Seat controls are the best in the biz. I wish more vehicles had sun visors like these. The parking brake is electric. There's a knee airbag. Options include heated and cooled cup holders. Nearly everyone will find a comfortable driving position with good visibility. There are enough small storage cubbies around that you'll probably lose things. A panoramic glass roof is optional. So is a DVD entertainment system for the kids. The back seats three full-sized adults comfortably with generous footroom. Both 12 volt and 110 power ports are here and there's storage all over. Seats are comfortable, but don't slide fore and aft to max out foot or cargo room. Bun warmers back here are optional. Gripes? Well, keyless ignition is not standard, neither is iPod integration. Optional running boards stick out just far enough to scrape my Achilles tendon, but don't leave much of a foothold. Finally, I still find the command operating system distracting to use while driving. Power lift gates are pretty handy, but sometimes they're a little slow. The MLs can be overridden if you're in a hurry. Let me give you a tour of the cargo hold. A spare is nice, something not seen all the time these days. Small touches like this, this, and this are nice. A feature I'd love to see here is the big elastic band that holds stuff in place. There's also a tab on the grab handle to, uh, I don't know, hang wet swimming trunks to dry. As far as space, M-Class does very well, swallowing up 11 packs of TP just as easy as that. For extremely tall or small drivers, the hatch opening height can be set by just holding down the button. ML350 starts at 49 grand. This particular Blue Tech model stickers for $57,600. Considering the luxury, the tech, and the powerful diesel engine, that's not unreasonable. People who don't want to sacrifice prestige while doing the chores should check out the new M-Class. 
I have not driven the gasoline engine, but can tell you it has more horsepower at 302, but less soul moving torque at 273 pound feet. And in case I didn't make it clear, the Blue Tech engine is very refined. More than one passenger was surprised to find out it was a diesel under the hood. You know how you remember your first sighting of a significant vehicle? Well, my experience with the M-Class is pretty cool. If you remember, they were going to launch it in the movie Jurassic Park 2. And while they were shooting it, I happened to be visiting the back lot of Universal Studios. So I look over and I see my very first M-Class destroyed by dinosaurs. It's actually a pretty cool memory. Anyways, that's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.